Welcome to Santa Pod Raceway, the spiritual home of European drag racing for the 50th anniversary season. We've had a great weekend's qualifying so far on Friday night. Who was here for the night session? Yeah, that was pretty good too, wasn't it? We're on to race day. We're going to bring you all the action from the cars and bikes. And also, we've got the best damn crowd in drag racing as well. Welcome to Santa Pod Raceway for the night session in Top Fuel. Fans turned out in their droves for this and they certainly weren't disappointed. They packed Santa Pod Raceway and got a great show. Well, that was Friday night. This, unfortunately, was the scene on Saturday. It rained all day long. The track crew tried hard, but it just didn't happen. So, review of qualifying. First up is FIA Pro Stock. The man who's in the hot seat for the championship again, Jimmy Orland, number one with a 661, 209 miles an hour. Jimmy, you've been number one qualifier many times here before, but tomorrow might be a special day you get a chance to run for your 10th Pro Stock Championship. Yeah, it's a really important day tomorrow and um, we're happy to be number one qualifier. We made it with a thousand over banked, so uh, it, it was a good spot, but uh, I was wishing to get, a, I was hoping to get another run in today, but the weather stopped us from that. FIA Pro Mod, another class really, really tight towards the end of the season. Mickey Gorquist though, stats his authority with a number one qualifying effort. Uh, plan for race day would be to uh, keep going in the same pace, maybe improve it a little bit, but uh, we just need to get some rounds. Top methanol drags to qualifying was led by the Harbormans again. They were number one and two, but Timo was on top of the pile. After a win in Hockenheim, he ran 5.33 at 263 miles an hour. Since 2014, the complete season, we had 11 races in total. And on every uh, 11 races, we were top qualifier. One had Dennis, and the other 10 was for me, so it's just great, you know. Well, one of the two people in with a shout of the FIA European top fuel title is Anita Merkula, and her and her team have come loaded for bear this weekend at Santa Pod to take it home to Finland. We're in the pits with Top Fuel's Anita Mekula, who is in a really, really serious points battle again at the finals. This time, it's with Stig Niergaard from Denmark. So, Anita, you entered last year and you were very close to Mickey Kagered. This season, it's Stig, but this time you're a little bit in front. I know, but, you know, it doesn't help me very much because it's enough to beat him yet. So we have to be good and we have to do well to beat him and to win the championship. She wasn't the number one qualifier. That honour went for the first time ever to the UK's Liam Jones, 3.98, 306 miles an hour. That was his first ever three second run and his first ever 300 mile an hour run. This was the scene from Friday night. He ran that time earlier on in the day. He was on an absolute stormer in the night session as well in the far lane, all the way through to a 4.1 that time. Yeah, absolutely ecstatic. But yeah, we're disappointed we couldn't qualify today, but we put two really, really stout runs in yesterday, so yeah, we're buzzing and we're ready for tomorrow. So it's time for race day. FIA Pro Modified, there are four drivers in with a shout of the title at the end of today. We're going to be seeing the first of them here in the shape of Mickey Gulquist. He still wears the number one from last year. Heads up, drag race first to the finish line wins. Michel Touring went 6.00 round one. If he can repeat that here against Mickey, it will give him a real tough race. 
Well, it was Mickey off the line first. Michelle Turin suffers tie shake. No mistake at all for Mickey Golfis. 5.89, low ET of the weekend so far for the Blue Camaro. It's Bruno on a buy run. Let's see what he can do. Mickey Golfis went 5.89. Bruno's been 5.9s down this racetrack. Not quite so quick that time, though. 6.02, and he's going to be taking on Mickey G in the semi-final. What a race that's going to be. OK, your next championship contender. As I mentioned, there are four of them, and they're all in each of the four round two matchups. Johan Limburg going to be taking on Norbert Kuno in the Lucas Oil Avenger. Well, it is Norbert Kuno with the jump off the start line, but big tie shake bites him before he gets to the Christmas tree. Johan Limburg with a real nice 6.08, 225 mile an hour win. OK, the last pair in this round two of Pro Modified, the last championship contender, as he was last year. In the Green Goblin, Mats Eriksson. Well, Kev gets a jump off the start line, and he's actually ahead going past 3.30 and at half track as well, but the power of the Green Goblin shows through the finish line. Mats Eriksson with a terrific run. Looks like a little bit of engine damage for Kev, unfortunately, on that run. That may have been what slowed him at the top end, but it is... Well, pretty much our dream matchup in the semi-finals. All four contenders with a shout in the title race are going to be racing. OK, next class is going to be top methanol dragster. They have the quickest and fastest supercharged cars outside of the US and one of the quickest cars in the world. In fact, actually, Timo's been as quick as 5.20 with his car, which is incredibly quick. I remember the time over a quarter mile, that was a very quick run for a top fuel dragster, let alone a top methanol dragster. They really are that good, these two. Rod Harrison, like I said, his first season in the class, sponsored by NUA. Well, it's Dennis away first. Problems for Rod, he clicks it off at half track. Dennis, with a couple of pedals all the way down the track, marches on through with a round one win. Congratulations to the Harbormans. OK, your next matchup are two injected nitro cars from the UK in the four sale drags. So that's Dave Wilson. Well, it's Johnny Lagaway first with a strong launch, but big tyre shake. And then that goes into tyre smoke. That's all Dave Wilson needs to take the win in the A fuel car. 5.55. OK, the last matchup in round one. Talk about a tough race and welcome to uh, racing at Santa Pod. So here we go. A fuel car, far side, supercharged car near lane. No mistake at all by Timo. But India didn't give it to him though. She was right with him all the way down. Timo takes it with a 5.34, 269 miles an hour. That's both Harbormans into the semis, but a great effort in a lose out for India, her quickest run ever at 5.54, 262 miles an hour. Congratulations to her. FIA top fuel dragster, round one. Anita's slightly in front in the points, but basically it's dead heat. Whoever goes furthest in eliminations is going to be champion. Unfortunately, Steve Ashdown shut off on the start line, so Anita gets a freebie. That will take a little bit of pressure off. Be interesting to see whether she does decide to run it all the way through or take it easy and save parts. Sad end for Steve Ashdown. Let's see what Anita can do. Well, that bug's eye view on the start line is fantastic. Anita, the car looking like it was hurting itself all the way down and really hurt itself through the finish line. Next pair, Duncan Mikulev against your number one qualifier, Liam Jones from the UK. So far side is Liam, near side is Duncan. Place in the semi-finals awaits the winner. Both the way absolutely together. Liam Jones shakes the tyres and spins them, and Duncan Mikulev runs the quickest and fastest pass of the season in European top fuel. 3.89, 311, nearly 312 miles an hour. And I think I saw Runa almost smile then as well. That's the man that owns and tunes that car. Been a long time coming. 
very, very happy for the team. Commiserations to Liam, though. Pair number three. So, top two staging lights are lit. Mickey's in first. Closely followed by Tethys. Here we go. Mickey leaves the start line first and has to pedal the car. All sorts of parts and pieces flying off Mickey's car. Those were body panels, folks. But most importantly for him, he gets the round win. One more time, if you watch both cars, you can see them. Tethys was on his way to the win there, but Mickey just managed to eke it out with some great driving. OK, the last pair in top fuel and another big one. Far side of the racetrack, Team Car. This is the man himself, Urs Erbacher. Again, for Victory Motorcycles, Midland Oil and Switzerland. He's going to have to take out the championship contender in the form of Stig Nergaard from Denmark. Side by side, Urs looks to be out in front, just spins the tyres. Drops a couple of cylinders, and it is Stig Nearguard. The championship moves on to the semi-finals. Very, very nervous for all the teams. Join us after the break to find out what happens. Welcome back to Santa Pod Raceway. Eliminations are just about to get started. The track is absolutely perfect, and so is the weather. OK, FIA Pro Stock semi-finals. Magnus Pettersson with Jimmy's old car, actually. Sponsored by MPM. He was in the title race a couple of seasons ago. Past 60 foot, and Bengt Jungdahl has already got about a car length. Now got a few car lengths, and he goes through with low ET of the weekend so far, 6.54. He won in Tiep a couple of weeks ago, and at the moment looks unstoppable. Jim's taking on the rookie in FIA Pro Stock. That's Stefan Enrid. Now, the name Enrid Cars has been around in this class for what, quite a while because Stefan sponsored Thomas Lindstrom for a number of years. This time, he struck out on his own, went and bought a brand new Dodge Dart from the US. Jimmy's the champion. Stefan Enrid goes red on the tree. Jimmy Allen takes it all the way to a 6.55 to put an exclamation point on his season. The team congratulating each other as they very much deserve to do. And one of the first people to them is Bink Jungdahl's crew chief. OK, more championship deciders this one's really simple it's really simple if mickey gulquist wins they're both sitting there looking at each other at the moment bruno goes in first here comes mickey dead even off the line a little bit of shake for bruno mickey's got a car length on him already and that will be the championship season done and dusted in favor of the mighty mickey gulquist from sweden So congratulations to the whole team from Sweden. Matt Sirikson's son, Lars Joran, gives him a, a bit of a G-up going into stage. He can't win the title now, but he can go out swinging in 2016. Will he take it easy? I think that's a more than definite no. Blasts all the way through in the Green Goblin to a 6.02, 2.35. Matt hasn't been in the 5.90s this weekend, but he's in the final all the same. So, your top methanol dragster season champion is Johnny Lag from Sweden. Spent a lot of time on tour, won the main event back here in May, but most importantly for him and the team, he was the most consistent. So that's why he gets the number one for next season. We have tried this year, but we have had a lot of trouble with Tiger Shades. And we've had right now too, but that's why I'm standing here right now. But otherwise, the car has been very nice to us this year. We haven't hurt any parts or anything really. So it's, it's in that way has been a very good, consistent car without breaking anything. So that's good. OK, top methanol drags to semi-finals. Due to the odd lot field, Timo Harberman will be getting a bye run his second consecutive final this season. And who will he be racing? UK against Germany. 
the Harbourmans against Dave Wilson. Dave's got a cylinder out off the start line. That will be all she wrote for the A-Fuel car. Dennis Harbourman blasts on through with a 5.40267, his quickest run of the weekend, and it will be an all Harbourman final. Fantastic stuff. Right, top fuel title decider coming up. Anita and the Chicken Gang haven't had it all their own way this weekend. She hasn't been in the threes yet this weekend, but the man in the other lane has. Duncan Mifflet went 389, over 311, nearly 312 miles an hour in round one. New track record here at Sandford Raceway and the quickest and fastest run of the season. So, both the way together, and Anita's car goes bang, it will be Duncan who takes the win with a lot of smoke and fire out of his through the finish line as well. Another 3.89, 312 miles an hour for Duncan Mikulif. OK, the other semi-final race, Mickey Kangarad, the Barco Tools Express, the outgoing champion, taking on Stig Niergaard here in the eye of the storm. Mickey Kagarad, hole shots, Stig Niergaard, Stig with engine problems, Mickey all the way through, his quickest run of the weekend, 4.05, only 278 miles an hour, Stig bows out, and unfortunately for the team from Denmark, will be number two. After the maths were all done, it's Anita Merkula who wins the 2016 Top Fuel Championship. as good as my team is so thanks to them these guys they did it and you did a bit didn't you oh small bit but it's teamwork at its best okay fia pro stock final jimmy orland is already crowned the champ this one's just for fun but he wants it just as much as all the rest of them that's in there in the exclusive cars camaro So, Jimmy, far side of the racetrack, Beck Jungdahl, closest to the camera. Jimmy away first by seven hundredths of a second. Now, that normally spells the end of a race, but not this time. Beck Jungdahl, by about that much, takes the win. 6.53 takes out a 6.61, but there was a seven hundredth of a second margin on the start line in the favour of the car in the far lane. Ben Jungdahl, I'm sure, a very happy winner. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing. It's, this is the real first re uh, season for us, and um, you have an amazing season. Well, 2017 is shaping up to be fabulous. Ben Jungdahl gets number two in the end, but Jimmy Orland, championship number 10 for the man in the Camaro. That's a lot. That means you're old, I guess. But uh, no, it, it, it's a, a big achievement. And when, when I was at number five or six, I didn't think about 10. When I was at nine, I really wanted the 10. And with people like Exclusive Cars and Summit Racing behind me and KB Racing building the motors, I knew it would happen. It was just a matter of time. And uh, I'm really proud of having 10 championships, actually. Promob final. It's kind of just for fun now for Mickey Gorquist because he's definitely going to be the champion. The Battle Scar Goblin of Matt Serickson and the shiny blue Camaro of Mickey G. Here we go. Dead even off the start line, but already past the tree. Mickey Gorquist is way out in front. <laughs> this will come as no surprise. Low elapsed time of the weekend 5.88, 243 miles an hour. Takes out Max Ericsson 611 at 234. Again in replay, it was Max who moved first just a little bit, but Mickey had that made up easily by 330. Congratulations to him. Yeah, we had a great day today, and uh, it was really nerve-wracking from the start of the day. Every round round was uh, terrible, <laughs> yeah, emotionally, very emotionally terrible. Well, it might be terrible for him, but it was great for us lot to watch. He finishes with the number one. Number two is going to be, at the last minute, Matt Serickson, Bruno, number three, and Johan Lindbergh, number four. OK, TMD final is going to be the bragging rights in the Harbourman household all winter. 
So pick your favourite. Dennis, far side the racetrack. Timo in the goal car, near side. Dennis gets a slight hole shot off the start line. It's absolutely neck and neck all the way down by about a wheel. Dennis Harberman takes a hole shot win over his big brother, Timo. And what a race it was as well. Dennis went 5.32, his quickest run of the weekend. Timo went 5.30, quickest run of the weekend for him as well. Watch again in replay. They are nailed together for the full quarter mile at Santa Port Raceway. And it's Dennis. Look at that. 32 to 30. Unbelievable racing from that team. Could really be any better. Yeah, we only made two two runs this year. And he team won in Hockenheim, I won in England, so you can say you can make it uh, better, you know. So confirmation of Johnny Lag's second ever top methanol dragster champion. Congratulations to him. They're home now working on a cure for the tire shake. FIA top fuel final. Problems after the semi-final round for Duncan Mikulev. Broke some rods in the engine. They swapped the engine out, but unfortunately the team couldn't get it back together and working right before this final round race. So it's going to be Mickey Kagarad taking a bye run for the win. Yeah, it was really nice uh, that Anita won the championship. Uh... Uh, yeah, I like that a lot and um, of course Stig, uh, it's a really, really good racer also, so uh, next year are going to be a really hard season, that's for sure. So winner in FYA top fuel points, Anita Merkel, her second ever championship, she's going to be so happy as she always is anyway. Stig Niergaard and the team, very close second and better luck next year to them. We're all done for the weekend here at Santa Pod Raceway and what a wonderful 50th anniversary event it's been. Top view, Mickey Kagarad kind of took the win by default. Pro Modified Mickey Gulkis, though, put an exclamation mark on a wonderful, wonderful season. That's all for this season. We'll see you again in 2017.